All right, hey guys, today I'm reviewing Matrix by Lauren Groff. Um, this book is about the life of, of a medieval nun from the 12th century. It spans throughout her entire life from 17 years old um, through her entire life. And uh, it's about her role in um, this all-women monastery. So I'll start with what I liked from the book. Uh, first thing... Um, Marie is like this, like, she, she develops into this, like, a nun, nunpreneur, what I call, I, I refer to her as like a nunpreneur because she has to constantly come up with not ideas, um, to grow this nunnery and it, she starts out, or this whole nunnery starts out as this, like, impoverished, really, um, poor, uh, thing and uh, she's hired, or basically not hired, but like she's she the queen wants her to like um, grow this this nunnery, and uh, she takes this role of coming up with all kinds of ideas to get them out of poverty, uh, to grow the to grow the practice, I suppose, um, to feed the community, and so it reminds me a lot of like entrepreneurship nowadays but the context is entirely in, in a catholic um frame so the ideas that she has to come up with are like not really how to make a profit actually making profit is sort of important because they use the profits to like give back to the community and give the charity and whatever um but she has to think of ideas that will benefit the community that will help them grow and sustain their nunnery that will feed them the community that will give them shelter um that will provide meals and 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 uh resources to 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 people in the catholic community and everybody in this in this world is basically in the catholic community um catholicism interestingly is i mean it's weird to think about it now because it's like really there's plenty of catholic people out there today but um, they don't have as much power as they did back then. Back then, in the 12th century, um, Catholicism was everything, at least according to this book. And, um, they had an extreme amount of power. They were basically, like, you know, a major empire. And it went all the way up to the, to the queen. Um, but all the resources in, in, in the in the community, um, or, you know, in, in the country, um, uh, were for Catholic purposes. So their particular nunnery didn't have resources, but the whole Catholic system had a lot of resources. Um, and, and they were definitely the controlling force in the nation and in the world, I would say. Um, Another thing I liked about the book is that the the more I got into it, the more the funnier it got. The nuns would give each other like backhanded insults and shady remarks, um, and it just became kind of funny at times. Um, reminded me kind of the tone reminded me sort of of like some historical comedy drama movies, like kind of like the movie Emma, or uh, there's probably better examples, um, but just kind of like a funny period piece uh or it's not not meant to be funny but there's funny moments in it and it's just very well written so like the the kind of like uh, mo it modernizes what 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 is what is historical and, and and there's there there's comedy that's found in that um i also like that it turns out to be extremely dramatic for a movie just about remoted remote isolated nuns um because everything comes back to religion and um all these religious conflicts uh, today like nowadays uh it's a like people it wouldn't be a big deal to like get an abortion or to um not believe in god or something or to like have a sex before marriage um, but in this book, any of those things would be extremely big deals. Um, and it would be extremely dramatic to the community 
And if any of those things happen, like if someone doesn't believe in God or someone, someone is pregnant before they're married or whatever, um, it would really upset the entire community and, 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 uh, people's faith in the religion. It would upset everything. Um, and so there's a ton of drama that's found just within the religious conflicts that a lot of these nuns have and what happens in the community at large. Um, I also like that the book was extremely well written. Uh, Lauren Groff is really an amazing writer. I have not read any of her other books, but, uh, this book is really well, is very immersive into the historical, um, 12th century medieval world. As far as I know, it's very historically accurate. Um, I learned a little bit about what it might have been like to be a nun. Um, I learned a little about, a little bit about, she didn't explain much of the historical context, but I learned a little bit about, she referenced it a couple of different things like the, the queen of, of England, um, the, you know, the Pope and kind of how, how the international system worked at the time. Um, I can tell she did a ton of research into, into, um, this particular era. Um, very well written. Um, another thing I liked was that it wasn't too long. It was the right length. Um, I read it only in a couple days and, uh, didn't really drag on. Um, it was probably a couple hundred pages. Uh, it wasn't too short either. It was, it was definitely the right length. Some things I didn't like about the book. Um, some parts were slower, not very dramatic. There were some dull moments that I had to kind of like, um, drag myself through. Um, there, there were also some moments where I didn't really totally follow what was going on or why it mattered. And maybe I was missing some context on the history of the 12th century and it wasn't explained in the book for better or worse. I'm, I mean, I'm glad she didn't explain really anything, but it, it wouldn't have fit the tone of the book if she started explaining historical context. But that being said, there were moments where I, I was a little lost, but I was able to get through it and not get too lost. Um, and, uh, those things weren't really like deal breakers for me. So I recommend this book for fans of realistic, well-written historical fiction, um, and also like historical comedy dramas, like the movie Emma, as I mentioned, for example, and overall I would give it a four out of five and I'm glad I read it.